Hi, my name is Xiang Gao, Applications Engineer at Microchip Technology. Today, I'll be demonstrating our M-Touch techniques for robust capacitive touch sensing using this M-Touch noise demo board. The single layer PC board uses a PIC18 at 14K50 to implement the touch sensing and handle the UR to USB connection. The springs are used as the touch sensors which bridge the gap between PCB and overlay material. We put many challenges on this board. Single layer, which means no ground shield for noise on the bottom side. Long sensor trace, which means large parasitic capacitance and more susceptible to noise. Thick cover, which will lead to low signal level because less coupling from finger to sensors. Now we connect the board with PC GUI through the USB cable. The PIC 18 f 14K50 uses CDC mode for USB connection, so it is recognized as a serial COM port on the PC. Select the right COM port and the GUI will start talking to the board automatically. The GUI shows the delta value for all eight sensors with different color in the plotter window. The first technique we want to demonstrate is active guard. Active guards are a way of minimizing the base capacitance by reducing the electrical potential between the sensor and the, its surrounding environment. So, as the base capacitance of a sensor decreases, the change in the signal caused by a user's finger will increase. With higher signal level, the system will have more tolerance for the noise. On this demo board, we encircle the sensor and its trace by the active guard. Now, let's see how the active guard improves the signal level. First, if we disable the active guard and show two extreme cases in the plotter, sensor 2 with the shortest distance to the pick and the sensor 8 with the longest distance. You can see the shift for sensor 2 is about 16 counts when I touch on the sensor and it's about 10 counts for sensor 8. After I enable the active guard, the delta values increases to 22 and 20 counts respectively. To demonstrate some of our noise suppression techniques, we bring here a fluorescent lamp, which is a very common noise source of a capacitive sensing in real world. You can see the signal is getting noisy immediately after I put the lamp beside the board. The signal delta value is very close to noise level, which makes it impossible for reliable detection. One simple technique we can use here is oversampling which is the process of using more than one acquisition sample per sensor reading. It will cancel out some fluctuations among the samples and gain additional resolution on the signal. Now, I increase the oversampling from one sample to five samples. You can see the signal to noise ratio has significantly improved. In addition to oversampling, software filters can be also used to suppress the noise. I will introduce three common filters we use in our solutions. They can be either used individually or cascaded together to achieve the best noise immunity. First is decimation filter, also known as slew rate limiter filter. It limits the change from the last reading to the current reading. So the goal of this filter is to reject impulse noise. The second one is moving average filter, which is a FIR filter calculating the average for a specific number of samples to smooth out the short-term fluctuations. And the last filter is median filter, which sorts a specific number of samples and only takes the average of the median samples. It is an enhanced average filter. Now let's play with these filters on the PC GUI. First, enable the decimation filter. You can see the signal gets less noisy immediately. Then, the moving average and you can choose how many samples are used for calculating the final readings. With more samples, you could get higher signal-to-noise ratio. The trade-off is that you have longer response time. And it's the same for the median filter. You can make different combinations with these filters to achieve the best performance. All these techniques are implemented in our M-Touch sensing library and framework which provide high signal-to-noise ratio sensing solutions and speed up your designs. For more information about M-Touch solutions, please visit us at www.microchip.com slash mtouch.